Welcome to Run With It, Canada's running fitness and health program. On this month's episode, I was in conversation with Zonder Evans, CEO and founder of Zonder TV Network, who talks about her successful career and why live streaming matters. But first, let's go to the Train Like a Pro segment. Check this out. Joining me today on Train Like a Pro is Corey Philpott. The, he is a 1994 Great Cup champion, and in 1995, he set a CFL record with 22 touchdowns. He's here today to talk about his career, his coaching, and his upcoming award. Welcome, Corey. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yes, and congratulations on your award that um, which is going to be the it's called the CFL AA 2024 Alumnus of the Year Award. What does this award mean to you? You know, it's 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 I mean, I guess at the end of the day, um, you don't expect these awards and stuff. And it's good to know that, you know, someone's out there still following you. They're still recognizing um, what we're doing and stuff through our careers and stuff like that. So it's very, very exciting to be able to uh, accept an award like this, showing that, you know, everything, all my hard work I've done um, outside of football and everything is uh, being recognized. And, and that's an honor to be able to have that. Yes, and congratulations. And with the 2024 Grey Cup this year in Vancouver. How do you view the growth of Canadian professional football since your playing days or playing years, I should say? Well, you know, you look back in, in our time of the days when I played, um, it was it was it's a lot different than it is now. Um, you know, you have uh, when I played back in those days, uh, we, we used to have a lot of people in the stands. Uh, it was crazy. We did a lot out in the community um, to to get the kids and get the kids involved. Um, and, and again, that made those kids wanted to come to a BC Lions game because they saw us on the field uh, at their practice. We used to have a kick and throw uh, event that we went around to the community teams and stuff and did. And it just made, and it, we did basketball uh, at the schools. We'd go play basketball. We'd go play, you know, in the winter time, we, we did a little hockey game, broom ball, hockey kind of game um, with the kids and stuff. And so, we got out there and we, we mingle and, and it was exciting for the kids. So those kids told their parents, hey, I want to go see Corey Philpott um, play because he that's how they saw us in person um, and, and the introduction wise. And then and now these days, uh, you know, the, the, the CFL has gotten a lot busier, you know, 2024s and 23s. Um, it's busier. It's hard to probably get the players out there. Um, so they do their best to try to advertise and promote on the teams and try to get them more involved uh, out in the community as well. But, but things has changed. And I mean, now it's, it's, it's the marketing, it's just how the marketing is, is set up that works uh, for, for, for getting people in the stands. I just like to ask you if I may, it's been 30 years since the Lions 26, 23 international gray cup win over Baltimore in which you led the Lions running attacked with 109 rushing yards. What did it mean to you? knowing Baltimore was known for their great defense, but couldn't stop you and Sean Millington when it mattered most. Uh, it was, it was, you know, that game was, was something, it was, it was really, really uh, exciting to be able to play. Obviously, you know, all the odds were against us, you know, American team um, being part of uh, the CFL and coming in and playing uh, against. And, and at that time, the rules didn't change for them. They were able to have all Americans and they didn't have to play with Canadians. So it was one of those things where the, the excitement for us was that we were not going to let the American guys come in here and, and take away our great cup. Um, and, and, you know, half our team had American players, half our team had Canadian players, but, but we stood together as, as a family and said, we were not going to let that cup go into the U.S. And, you know, we battled and we fought and, and as a family and a team. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was great to be able to to make some great big plays, me and Sean Millington, and then have Louie um, to kick that winning field goal. Um, you know, that's something that goes down in history. You know, it's being able to to have to drive down the field and get our, our field goal kicker, Louis Bizagler, in a perfect spot 
to be able to make that winning. And, you know, when you see all the interviews and you see all the reviews now, 30 years later, it still kind of puts a big smile on everyone's face because it was, you know, one second on the clock and boom, it's over, right? So. <laughs> wow. What a wonderful me memory and uh, achievement. And I want to know, for viewers who may not know, um, your email handle has quick six. What? Can you tell reviewers about that? Well, it's uh, uh, it's a nickname that Ray Alexander gave me, uh, one of our wide receivers, um, because I was so fast and everything, and I wore number six, and and I scored so many touchdowns. As you can see, in 1995, I set the most touchdowns uh, uh, in a season, 22 touchdowns. Um, so a after that, th that's where the name came. You know, let's get the ball to quick six. Quick six will get us six points. Um, so it stuck with it, and uh, yeah, and that's 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 what everyone calls me, and uh, you know I, I enjoy it. It's it's great when you're when you're at games and stuff, and you hear people yelling "quick six, you know. So it's something I've done uh, to achieve that yeah. that name, and uh, you know it's it, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. You are the proud father of twin sons, Jalen and Tyson, both CFL uh, wide receivers with Calgary Stampeders and Grey Cup champion Montreal Alouettes, respectively. How hard is it emotionally when those two teams are playing each other? It's 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 very tough. It's it's very tough because you're pulling for for both both teams. You're pulling for your kids to go out and do great things. And you know when one does something, you go yay. The next one does, and you're like yeah, awesome. You know, but in in the end, you know, yeah. somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. And you know that that's part of the competition, and you know it's 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 great to have that competition in our in our house because you know we're on the phones or we're talking and stuff. You know the trash talking um, happens between everybody, and uh, it just keeps us on our toes and keeps keeps everything going like that. Oh, that's wonderful! And tell us about your coaching. You know the head coach of the Langley Rams. Uh, tell us you a junior football championship in 2021. Is that correct? That's correct. That that's correct. So. You know, after the kids, uh, you know, I, I helped coach the kids since they were three years old and go out on the football field. I coached community football for years and years, then went on um, to uh, coach high school football as well with my sons um, at Siakam High School, where we won a national championship as well there. And then from there, I got into uh, junior football and doing stuff with junior football, where I became a head coach with the Langley Rams in 2021. Um, where I led, uh, we led the uh, the Langley Rams to a national championship um, in uh, over 70 years. It hadn't been won in, in 70 years for uh, Langley Rams. So you know we went undefeated. Um, great defense, great bunch of coaches. Uh, you know went on to win that national championship. It was a great, great feeling from there. Um, and then now I've uh, now uh, I'm a part of British Columbia football, which is called BCPFA. It's a uh, it's uh, all of football so we run all the football uh in british columbia so i'm operations i'm operations for that and we we now have trying to build a, a program here where we give kids athletes a chance to go and play in what we call the canada cup the u16 westerns um they represent the province here of british columbia against all the other provinces across canada and we all go in july and play these big big games and everything and try to win gold and bring it home so so it, it's exciting now being able to do that and get back to the kids and um, have the kids do a lot of that kind of stuff. I mean, I go down to California and play down in the Snoop, Snoop Dogg National Championship uh, in California, where we give, the, we give the Canadian kids an experience as well to be able to showcase themselves down there. And hopefully, you know, some university down in the States or someone will see a kid, a Canadian kid, and give them an opportunity. Yes. And... I mean, can you tell us a bit, like, how do you, how much do you love coaching? I mean, you were, you know, a professional football player, um, but what is it about coaching that you like the most, I should ask you? It's it, it, it's the idea that, you know, I can teach, um, I can teach and coach uh, kids to be better, better, better on the field and off the field. Um, it's it, that what excites me, to be able to see a kid, you know, like, say, when you, you, you look at me, you, you, if you get 5% or 10% of kids that buy into the system, believe in something, and, and they believe in themselves that they can do great things, they can go on to become professional athletes, like as my sons, 
you know, they bought into the system. They, they understood what it took to get to the next level. And so that's what really um, makes me so excited about what I do. You know, what I do off the field now that I'm not playing on the field, it's just like I was if I was playing on the field because I'm so excited just, just to give kids an opportunity to, to reach yeah. their goal and, and be better and be better. And like I say, again, not just on football, but just be better, better, better athletes uh, off the field when they go into business and jobs to be able to run, you know, be part of big companies as I am now. You know, I, I football, even though I give it back to the kids and I do a lot with football, um, I work for a big, big uh, company uh, called GFL Environmental, where I moved up uh, in the company. And I'm sitting as a supervisor, and we've done some great things uh, over my 20 years now in the environmental world. That's wonderful. And Corey, is there anything else um, you'd like to add that I didn't ask you? Um, you know, all, all I would like to say out there is that, you know, I would like to see everyone achieve their goals. Always, always keep fighting for your goals. Always put... You know, when you when you when you set goals for yourself, don't never give up. Never let anyone tell you that you can't do anything, um, because at the end of the day, you can do anything you want if you put your mind to it, and and anything is possible. Corey, thank you so much for your time today, and I so enjoyed speaking with you. And I would love for you to come back with your twin sons, if that would be okay. <laughs> so. That sounds sounds like a plan. I mean, the boys are uh, excited excited about doing stuff with me and stuff. And like I say, having, having two on, on a great cup as, a, as like I say, we've set, we've set right now what I've been told uh, it's the first time having a father son uh, on a great cup. Um, so hopefully we'll get a third kid on there and uh, we'll really set the stakes high. Thank you so much again. Thanks for uh, having me do this. Tyson Philpott in his second year out of the University of Calgary has just made the catch of his life. What a rope by Phil Pond. His dad, Corey, is a great cup champion. We are live on YouTube, Run With It and the Closing Act. And I am excited to have back on the program, Zondra Evans. CEO and founder of Sandra TV Network. She is a live streaming mogul. She's an international speaker, in demand speaker, author, and she's here to talk about the Zondra TV media graduation ceremony happening on November 14th. And she'll be talking about live streaming TV and more. Welcome, Zondra. How are you? Oh, thank you for having me here, Christine. I am just tickled to be on your show today. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your new studio. Oh, yes. So excited. I'm, I'm, it is so amazing. Incredible studio. I saw a tour of it virtually. And I love to talk about the upcoming media graduation ceremony. And tell us about the incubator producer program and more. Yeah, so, um, Thank you so much for letting me talk about this because I think it's really, really uh, fundamentally uh, important uh, as business entrepreneurs. A lot of times as business entrepreneurs, we'll jump into something and not really have all the knowledge that we need to be effective. And so uh, when I was called to media and I heard this little, you know, little, little voice inside of me that said I was supposed to train the people. Uh, that's how we came out with the Producer Incubator uh, Academy, where we teach you about TV and media and how important it is uh, in your journey. Uh, it originally started out as a 12 month program. It's all done virtually and it's live taught virtually, not a recording, because I feel as though I, you know, I've not been, I don't, I don't feel a draw to make it like an LMS course. Um, I teach most of the courses along with Lachelle Atkins and Gwen Womack. Um, we teach uh, now a nine month program. We kind of boiled it down that we got down, got it down to the things that are truly important. But after uh, that nine month program, we have what we call the TV Media Producer Academy graduation, 
where each producer will get a certification uh, that says that they are a certified TV producer mm -hmm. now on the TV network, but they also get a commemorative, which I, I'm going to tell you what it is, I, and people can just expect it when it comes. It's actually a blue rose. And I send a blue rose to all the graduates because it is truly one, one example of their blue rose moments in their journey. And so, um, yeah, we're excited. It's coming this Thursday. And Angel Tussie, who's been my PR agent from day one, is going to be the keynote speaker. So I'm excited. Wow. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. And, and people, you can send an invitation out to your family, friends, and colleagues to join the Gemini, correct? Yeah, um, we've been promoting it. And there is a link where you can send it out to your friends and family and, you know, your, your peers and invite them to come to the graduation yeah. ceremony. So under, yeah, so you can rest. Yeah, so the graduation is, is exciting, as I said. And But I want to turn to the live streaming TV, the micro network, and tell us about um, how to get involved. Oh, God, there are so many ways, right? Um, you know, I've been on a personal crusade talking about why streaming matters for the last three and a half years. Um, it, you know, I do an informational every first Wednesday of every single month, and it, it's not a sales call. Um, you know, this being disguised as an informational, it's a true informational call because I believe that we perish because of a lack of knowledge. And so I've made a commitment to continue to teach people why streaming really does matter. It's another digital lane on the digital highway. And so you have to be involved in all of these digital lanes if you want to scale and grow your business beyond your local neighborhood. And so I talk about that on the first Wednesdays of every month. On the third Thursday, though, I talk about micro networks. And so what do I mean by micro networks? It might not mean anything to other people, but I believe that other people want to own their own network, just like I own a TV network. They're going to want to own their own network uh, as well and become an executive producer. But I don't believe that I should have, that other people should have to pay the money that I paid to build a network. It costs a lot of money. And so we figured out a way for um, folks to be able to own their own network and literally, you know, gain 12 to 15 people that are like-minded, like-spirited with podcasts or with Facebook TV, as they call it, um, that would like to be distributed on uh, nationally syndicated TV. And we uh, allow them to do that and to build what I call a great way to be able to leverage everybody's content under one domain. And so, uh, yeah, so it, it's important. I mean, you have to participate mm -hmm. in every lane. So, yeah. Yes, but what you do, what I said, you're a live streaming mogul. I mean, you started this and, um, and you know, just one channel at a, at a time, right? You bought a channel, right? Is that correct? And then here you are inspiring others like myself that you can have your own network you can produce your show you can do and it's like you're helping small businesses and it's a wonderful you're a role model Sandra. <laughs> thank you i you know i just believe uh that we're stronger together now we were using that in, in the pandemic when coming out of the pandemic we're stronger together but what does that really mean and so for me we are stronger together and by the way you want to curate content together like people want to work together or should want to work together because you can live faster. You can live a, a lot more uh, quicker. And so I believe in that. And so we've just developed Zondra TV Network to be an example of that. The right um, connections, if you will. And, and, and you have your new studio is and our viewers your next project because you have so much going on right now. i have a ton you know i don't know how you do it Sandra. you know i have a ton going on because i don't i just can't rest i mean you know it's like 
I think I would be bored if I didn't have something going on. So we got a lot going on. Um, the first thing is we are planning for the second annual Zanti Awards on June 7th, 2025. We're in the midst of uh, planning. And so we're excited about that, you know? Um, you know, we had so many people at our first annual that we, we have to find a new venue. So we're, we're looking for a new venue that will hold at least 250 people uh, because last year was 150 people that actually came. So we're excited about the Zanti Awards and what, what's going to happen in June. Um, but we are also, I'm filming a couple of new shows. And so I'm really excited about my mm -hmm. new show that's called Zandra Unplugged. And so I'm looking to launch that show in early Q2. And it's all of the story behind this thing called Zandra TV. I think people think I became a global mogul in TV uh, overnight, but it wasn't overnight. It's been almost eight years now. And so now it's time to tell the story behind the story. And so it's called Zandra Unplugged. I'm really, really excited about that show. And then I have another show that I'm um, executive producing with a group of women and a few men, by the way, that will be on this show. And it is called The Kingdom Agenda. And so it will be a boardroom show uh, that shows how a kingdom uh, business nice. should be ran. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful, Sandra. You're changing lives. You're inspiring others. And if people want to reach out to you to become, you know, in the program, in to be, you know, to learn more about live streaming TV, to have their own micro network, etc., <laughs> where can they go, please? Yeah, it's kind of simple, Christine. Just go to be on ztv.com. That's B E O N Z as in zebra tv.com. And uh, you can click in the upper right hand corner to schedule a chat. Uh, and you can learn more about Zandra TV Network. And then if you want to know more about me, just go to zandraevans.com and check out my new website uh, as a keynote speaker. So that's available as well. Thank you, Zandra, for joining me today, live streaming and the technical difficulties. It was great information, everyone. So thank <laughs> you so much. Uh, you're so welcome, Christine. I adore you. Uh, <laughs> when you reached out to me, I was like, of course I'll do it for you. I, you know, you mean the world to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to encourage you to keep doing the great work that you're doing in the space that you are absolutely you're the commander of that space and so i thank you for all that you do thanks for watching if you have a question or a comment about today's episode go to our website runwithit.ca until next time run with it